Know your government. Who leads our country? Chapter one, a nation with many leaders. Every February, the United States celebrates President's Day. We honor two presidents who were born in February. They are George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. We also honor all the other presidents on that day. The president is the leader of the United States. The president lives and works in the White House in Washington, DC. The president is not our only government leader. Many men and women act as leaders in the United States. Some work in Washington, DC, the country's capital. Other leaders work in states, cities, or towns. We need good leaders to help keep people safe and free. Chapter two, what does the president do? The president has one of the hardest jobs in the world. The president has to decide what is best for the country. Sometimes the president has to lead the country during times of trouble. The president works for all Americans. Voters elect or choose a president every four years. A person can be elected president only two times. The president has many different duties. Chief executive. The president is the country's chief executive. The president works closely with Congress. Congress is the part of government that makes laws. The president makes sure that laws are carried out. A bill is a written idea for a new law. The president has to approve a bill before it becomes a law. The president can also give Congress ideas for new laws. In 1997, President Bill Clinton signed a bill into law. The new law helped protect children. The president oversees all government departments. The president chooses men and women to lead these departments. There are government departments for health, education, and other important areas. The heads of these departments work with the president. Together, they try to solve problems in the country. In July 2007, President George W. Bush met with his top advisors to talk about the war in Iraq. Commander in chief, the president is in charge of the military. The military includes the army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. The military protect the country. Sometimes the president sends the military into battle. Congress must approve this action. World leader, the president is also a leader in the world. The president meets with leaders from other countries. They work together to help solve problems. In February 2006, President Bush met with Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. She is the president of Liberia, a country in Africa. Head of state. The president is a symbol of our country. The president sometimes goes on television to tell Americans how the country is doing. The president also honors important people. Community leaders, athletes, and children may visit the president at the White House. President Bush honored Peyton Manning and the rest of the Indianapolis Colts for winning the Super Bowl in 2007. Chapter three, what does Congress do? Congress has two parts. Those parts are the Senate and the House of Representatives. Congress makes the laws for our country. Each state elects members of Congress. There are 100 senators. Each of the 50 states has two senators. There are 435 representatives. The number of representatives from a state depends on the number of people who live there. Any member of Congress can suggest a bill for a new law. The Senate and the House vote on the bill. 
The bill passes if most members vote for it. To become a law, the bill must be approved by the president. The president may not agree with the bill. The bill can still become a law if two thirds of both the Senate and the House vote for it. Members of Congress work in the Capitol building in Washington, DC. Congress decides how the government should spend its money. Every year, Congress prepares a budget. The budget is a plan for how much money the government will spend. Congress helps solve problems in the country. Members of Congress also visit their home states often. They talk to the people they represent and find out what those people need. In July 2007, Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi spoke to people from her home state of California. Chapter four, what do governors and mayors do? Each state has its own government. The governor is the head of the state government. The people in the state elect the governor. Each state has a legislature. This group of people passes new state laws. The governor must sign a bill before it can become a state law. Then the governor sees that the law is followed. Governors pick many of the people who help run the state. The state government keeps law and order. It helps keep the roads safe and helps run the schools. Governors and the state legislature work together to decide how to spend the state's money. The governor also helps the people in the state during an emergency. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger of California thanked firefighters who helped out after an earthquake struck in 2003. The United States has many cities and towns. Each has its own government. Mayors are the government leaders in many of these places. The mayor is elected by the people in the city or town. He or she makes sure the city or town runs smoothly. Shirley Franklin was elected mayor of Atlanta, Georgia in 2002. She was the city's first female African-American mayor. Many cities and towns have councils. The people in the community elect the members of the council. The mayor works with the council. The council passes laws to make the community a better place to live. The city or town government may run the schools, libraries, and parks. City council members often hold meetings. They listen to people from their community talk about important issues. Chapter five, what do courts do? People settle disagreements about the law in court. Judges are leaders of the courts. They make sure that everyone is treated fairly under the law. The Supreme Court is the top court in the United States. The president picks the judges called justices for the court. The Senate must approve the president's choices. The Supreme Court decides whether the laws passed by Congress and by state governments are fair. Each state has its own court system. Cities and towns have courts too. Some courts deal with crimes. Crimes are acts that break the law. Other courts handle private problems. These problems are between people or between people and companies. The US Supreme Court has eight justices and one chief justice. John Roberts seated center is the chief justice. Some courts hold trials. During some trials, a group of people called the jury listens to the facts. They decide whether someone broke the law. At other trials, the judge makes the decision. If a person is found guilty, the judge usually decides what the punishment will be. During a trial, the judge, center, listens closely as questions are being asked. Leaders in all parts of government have important roles. The president serves more than 300 million people. 
Leaders of some towns serve fewer than 100 people. Their jobs may be different, but all leaders help keep our country strong. In September 2005, President Bush met with Ray Nagin. He is the mayor of New Orleans, Louisiana. They worked on a plan to repair the city after Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> 